In today's video, how to get the skin on your belly really thin. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and man, I am getting pounded by this same kind of question over and over again. And I've done this video before, but I want to address it from a slightly different angle. So if you guys want to send me a question, go right here to my Instagram direct message. And if you like this type of content around nutrition and training and being the best version of you, Hit the subscribe button, man. It's what I love to see. Now, let's address the question and then we'll get into it. Hey Paul, hope you are fine. I am, thank you. How I can get a really thin skin in my belly? My fat percentage, it's under eight, thank you. Well, first of all, damn, because you shredded. If you're truly 8%, you can very, very much see your abs, but I know where you're coming from because Body fat percentages don't always mean what we think they mean. A lot of us hold body fat in a strange area or a strange place. And a lot of times people will use terms like stubborn body fat. Stop saying stubborn body fat. It's all stubborn. It all hates to come off. Our bodies do not like losing body fat, okay? It's just a part of the human condition. Body fat is good for you. You need body fat. And so why the stomach. Why is the stomach? Well, it protects so much of our body. There are so many of our internal organs there. Our sex organs are very near there. So it makes sense that there would be an area of the body that holds on to body fat longer. Notice I didn't say stubborn. I don't actually believe in stubborn body fat. I think it's just body fat that we haven't gotten to yet. So that's the most important factor when it comes to really getting thin skin. What is thin skin? Well, our skin actually doesn't change, okay? Now, as we age, yes, the epidermis may get smaller, but what we're talking about when we say thin skin, especially from a physique perspective, is when you reach down and you grab. Now, if I grab some skin right here on my forearms, some skin, it doesn't have much body fat in there. That feels like thin skin. Now, if I grab some skin on my lower back, that feels like thick skin. Well, why does it feel like thick skin? Because I got a whole bunch of body fat there. Let's be real, okay? I just started my transformation. Don't get on me. I got some body fat. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to do a full update video on my physique after one week on my transformation challenge. However, this video's purpose is to discuss how to get that thin skin look. And now if you're already at 8% body fat and you're still not happy with what you got there, well, I got some interesting news for you. You just got to keep going. And you probably know that and you probably don't want to hear it again. And the people that are watching this video are probably thinking, Paul, you say the same thing over and over again. Well, the rules haven't changed. Body fat comes off in a manner which we cannot dictate based on the area. We simply have to keep losing body fat until it all comes off. It will eventually all come off. This is what dieting for a competition is about. This is what dieting for a photo shoot is about. You diet until you see the look you want. Now for many of us, that means we lose the fat in our faces and we have pointy cheeks. We lose the fat in our necks and we have a longer neck. We lose the fat in areas that we don't care to be thinner, like our forearms, like our upper arms, like our calves. But before the body fat is going to come off the last areas, meaning the areas like the lower abdominal, for many the lower back, me, the glutes, the thighs, the quads, wherever it may be, the hamstrings, these areas tend to be the last in the line of, of fat coming off. My buddy Alberto gave me a great analogy earlier this year. He said if you grab a paper towel roll and you start unrolling it, that is just like taking body fat off the body. Now for most of us, those last few sheets of paper are the ones that we want off. The areas I just talked about. But you cannot get them unless you diet off the entire roll. You can't fast forward and just take off that last sheet. That's when you get a thin skin look. Why? Well, because the fat cells have essentially become nothing and we can just grab the skin. To have very pronounced abdominal muscles, what you want to do is have low body fat so you have this appearance of a thinner skin and you also want to have visible muscular striations and muscle bellies that pop out against the skin. This gives us that appearance of the six pack, the eight pack, the three pack, the four pack. A lot of that is predetermined genetics, okay? How your abs are gonna look when you diet down, you can, you can flex and feel them in your body. 
That's going to determine that. So how do you go about this? Well, you did not give me any information about your diet and about your cardio. So I'll link a video below on how to do that. But essentially what you need to do is continue to create an energy deficit that's going to allow you to be in a caloric deficit each day and dig into those body fat stores. Now, what I find the real magic for people that are lean is we do periods of fat loss, followed by periods of maintenance to really ensure that we're staying in a good hormonal place. The most difficult part about being shredded are the hormone changes that we go through. Yes, we all know about the hunger hormones, leptin and ghrelin. We know you're going to be hungry when you're dieting down and getting shredded. But what you don't really account for is that when you're that lean, you might get hungrier when you eat a meal. Your body is determined to put body fat back on. We also know, well, our libido is gonna change. Why? Our sex hormones tend to drop. And when sex hormones drop, workouts tend to suffer. Energy tends to suffer. You move less. I definitely start conserving energy and talking in a more monotone voice and not using my hands as much when I am very shredded. You'll see this in my videos if you go back or if you meet me or if you're around me when I'm shredded. It's just a natural conservation of energy. So you have to start accounting for those things. A lot of people will say, hey coach, I cut my calories. I added cardio. I didn't lose any weight. Why? because you started conserving energy in your day-to-day -day life. It's that simple. It's not stubborn. You're stubborn. That's my simple answer here. If you are at 8% body fat and you wanna to get to 6%, 5% and really see that thin skin, paper thin skin look that somebody with ripped shredded abs has, you just gotta keep going. That's why bodybuilding, that's why photo shoots. Because to push through those days when it's really hard, you gotta have a clear defined goal. All right, so that's it for me today, guys. I had someone reach out to me and ask me about a shredded ab video for women. And I'm thinking about doing this topic this week. So I'd like to know your guys from a female perspective, anybody that's still watching this video, what are your questions about dieting down to have a shredded six pack for women? All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you're having an awesome Monday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.